Good day, folks. If you're looking to automatically save your attachments from emails that you've received to a specific folder, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So stick around. The first thing you want to do is go over to the left hand side on the top of your page and you want to tap on file. Now this will give you the options menu and right on the bottom of the page on the left hand side there's options and you're going to tap on that. Now once you've tapped on that we're going to look on the menu on the left hand side of this new window over here and we're going to look for trust center. We're going to open that up. Now, once we're here, you can see um, that the Microsoft Outlook Trust Center option is down over here, and we're going to tap on Trust Center Settings. Once this is now open, you can go over to the left-hand side, and we're looking for Macro Settings. We're going to tap on that. Now, right from here, our macro settings, we want to make sure that our notifications for all macros are turned on, right? So the macro settings here, there are a few options by default. It says notifications for digitally signed macros, all other macros disabled. We want to not have that one selected. We want notifications for all macros. We're going to go ahead, bottom right of the screen, we're going to tap on OK, and then we're going to tap on OK again. Now the next step involves um, using the developer mode. Now if you do not have the developer mode in your menu app at the top over here where it says file home, send receive folder view, help. If there's no developer up there, you're going to go ahead and hold in alt and you're going to tap F11 and it'll actually open up um, this interface over here. This is the Microsoft Visual basics uh, for applications. So we're going to go ahead from here and up on the menu you have file edit view and insert. From insert we're going to open that and here we're going to tap on module. Now right over here you are going to paste this exact module and I will leave this in the description so you can literally just copy paste it right in over here and the only change you're going to make is right over here on this line where it says save folder and equals and it actually gives a file or a folder location. Now what you're going to do is type out exactly where you would like to save your attachments and once you're done you're going to go up to the toolbar again and we are going to either tap on this little save icon or you can go into file and you can go ahead and tap the top option which is save VBA project dot OTM. We're going to tap on that. Now once you've done that, you can now close this. You can also close this. Now right from here, we are going to go ahead and um, if we're going to tap on our home tab, which is on the top left hand side, you will see this interface and you'll see this menu or this ribbon at the top of your page. You're going to go ahead and look for rules. And once you've navigated to rules, you are now going to look for manage rules and alerts. We're going to open that up. Now, this is where we're going to create a new rule. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the um, inbox or the mailbox that we're using is the one that we want to do this for. So it says apply changes to this folder. And you can see now you can select the appropriate mailbox. Right from there, you're going to see at the top here that there is a new rule option and we're going to tap on that. From here, we're going to go ahead and we are going to look for um, the start from a blank rule. We're going to start from scratch and apply rule on messages I receive. We're going to select that and we're going to tap on next. Right from this page, you will see that it asks you what you want to do with the message. So from here, you're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down uh, very slightly. And we are going to look for run a script. And we're going to select that. Now, once we've selected this, you can see just at the bottom, it says step two. And you can now edit the rule description and we're going to go ahead and tap on the blue highlighted run a script. And over here you can see that there is a script that has already been inserted. This is basically where we are saving our attachments to. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is selected and we are going to tap on OK. You can see now that the run script has now changed to project one and then the path 
of which our attachments will be saved or downloaded to. We're going to go ahead now and tap on next and over here we're going to finish up the rule we have the opportunity to name the rule so we can now name it whatever it is that we'd like i'm just going to go ahead and type in auto save attachment and we are going to go ahead and select the run this rule now on messages already in inbox which basically will allow this rule to be applied to emails that have already been received into my inbox you also have the option to have this rule turned on or off and then of course you can create this rule on all of the accounts that you're managing in Outlook or you can have it applied just to the specific one that we were using um, earlier on when we logged in. We're going to go ahead now and tap on finish on the bottom right hand side of the screen and now we are all set and ready to go. The last thing you need to do is restart your device restart your computer and you are ready to go all of your attachments will now be downloaded to the section that you specifically chose if this was helpful drop us a like we'll see you next time cheers